Would you move your car, man? You're in the middle of the road. What's wrong? Is it Bora or is it somebody else? No, it's just the bank. Oh my god, you are such a horrible liar. Give me that phone. Oh, Let uh, me see hey. what's going on. Shh. I oh. hate when you get obnoxious like this, Daria. Please don't try getting involved in my personal business, all right? You hear me? No, oh. don't. Countess, so you have personal business now? We're living together in a tiny hostel using the same kitchen, bath, and toilet, man. Why don't you want to tell me all of a sudden? We always tell each other everything. I just want to feel like I have some sort of a personal boundary around here, all right, Daria? Are you having problems with Kubra or something? C Kubra problems? <laughs> of course not. I mean, why? It seems like you were upset and maybe angry at each other. No. Oh, please. It's been a week since the baby was found and you still haven't gone to see her. Yeah, okay, but we already gave her our support. We stayed with her throughout the bad times and now that the baby has been found, uh, I just thought that, well, maybe the family wanted to be alone for a while. That was all. There isn't really a family going on. It's weird. Uh, oh really? But why? Jacob treats the baby like a piece of furniture. He's rented another house and hasn't looked back since. He never goes to the house. Cooper's always crying her eyes out. Cooper's situation is just becoming weird. Without Jacob there, Cooper's getting really confused about everything. I mean, it's as if we hadn't been through enough yet. <sighs> oh really? What are you, Daria? What the hell did you doing? tell me? Stop it! My God, what a fuss! What ever? Mom, this is your granddaughter. She's Yigit's baby. Oh, what a darling! Oh, how sweet she is! Let me hold her, my darling. Ah. Uh -uh. Come on, are you crazy? I raised these kids, didn't I? Give her to me, give her to me. Come to Grandma, darling. Oh, are you naughty like Yigit, huh? Are you naughty? Will you look like your daddy? Because you really look like Yigit, don't you? Like his twin, huh? Come on, give me a smile. Ah, oh, that's right, just like your daddy. Oh my, oh my, oh my, would you look at this, darling? You look just like Yigit, yes. I hope that you won't be naughty like him, huh? Hey, Mom, do you remember us? Oh, my goodness. My goodness, come on. So are you her mother? I knew from the very beginning. She was so flustered the day that we went over for dinner. She'd gaze at Yigit with pure adoration. Oh, come on, my goodness. Isn't she Sadula's daughter? That's wonderful. Your father is a very lovely man. It's true. He ran all over for us. He helped us with the house. Oh, don't you remember, my beautiful girl? He really helped us out. That's right. Isn't Grandma right, my dear? Are you breastfeeding? Listen, I don't like lazy mothers. You need to get up at night so the baby can have her milk. She's a formula-fed infant. My milk isn't enough. No, I don't think so. Keep feeding her. Then the milk will keep coming. You should try eating almonds from Ivalik. Okay, Mom, I'll go get some. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to the doctor and I'll send a nurse in right away, okay? Okay. Oh, my great big girl, you're the sweetest. Oh, you're the loveliest. You're Grandma's little girl, aren't you? I love you. Doctor, she actually recognized us. Although she still hasn't remembered something. I I'm a little confused. I'm also excited about it, though. You're correct. We've also been observing some improvements but we're still at the beginning of her progress. I don't want you to get too hopeful just yet. It's a long process, Mr. Amir. <laughs>